we're looking at the Amazon wireless doorbell. Click on the links below. The Amazon doorbell is wireless, easy to install and great value. This wireless doorbell comes with 55 chimes, 5 adjustable volume, 0 decibels to 110 decibels with a blue LED indicator. Let's open up the box and have a look at the manual. You have the transmitter part that has the button on it and the receiver which will plug into the wall socket. It has a range and open area of 1300 feet which is 400 meters. This doesn't connect to a router, it's just a Wi-Fi connection between the transmitter and the receiver. Very straightforward. In the box comes a piece of card. Go onto the website and activate your two-year warranty. This is the receiver. This will plug into your wall socket and that's all you need to do. Comes with double-sided sticky strips which will stick to a smooth surface and to the transmitter. This also comes with a stick-on sign. Comes with wall plugs and screws. I recommend the plugs for brick wall and the screws for either plastic or wood, which I'll show you in this video. This is a transmitter part of the doorbell. Remove the plastic that sticks out of it and that will make a connection for the battery. The flat screwdrivers used to open the transmitter. In the box you'll have two sticky strips, one's a spare. We'll open up the transmitter to show you what's going on on the inside. Remove the cutout pieces of the sticky pad. Remove one side and stick to the transmitter. Peel off the second side of the sticky strip. Clean the smooth surface first and stick on the transmitter doorbell. Plug in the receiver to a wall socket. The top button adjusts the volume. Keep pressing the same button to adjust the volume. Press the arrows to pick a chime. Now I'm mounting this transmitter outside, clean the surface and stick the transmitter in position. Now let's check it's working. If the receiver and transmitter didn't automatically connect to each other, hold down the volume button on the receiver for 5 seconds and press the button on the transmitter. This will pair the two if it hasn't already. Now we're going to mount it to a wooden fence. I use the two screws that come with a pack. I recommend removing the middle before drilling, but I'm going to drill now. I'm making a hole so it's easier for the screw to go in, but that's up to you. The heads on these screws are small, so you can use other screws. I do the same for both holes. I also stick on the sign so you can see what that looks like in position. Press the button to make sure it's working. Easy as that. 